Well, hey everybody, it's Friday again. Uh, that means the doctor is in, live with TOA is back. Uh, I'm Gray Stallman, I'm your host. Uh, we've been doing this uh, event for, gosh, more than six months now, and uh, hopefully people are finding it useful. I think it's uh, uh, interesting, it's certainly fun to do, and uh, um, uh, please make sure that if you, if you have any questions, comments, you're interested in a topic, let us know. We'd love to try to accommodate you. We've had some awesome guests. Last week's interview with Dr. Carpenter was our best attended session yet. It was very popular. And um, I think we can do even better than that with other people in the TOA practice. So uh, I look forward to... Uh, continuing to mature this, this venue and, uh, and hopefully provide you guys information that you're interested in. Um, as with all of our Doctors Live, the doc, sorry, Doctors In Live with TOA, I'm getting confused. As with all of our episodes, uh, while I am an orthopedic surgeon, I'm not your orthopedic surgeon, so please consider the information we talk about today for information, education, and a little bit of entertainment purposes only. This is not medical advice. If you have a musculoskeletal problem, please go to toa.com. Uh, you can learn more about uh, our offices, our services, uh, what we can do to try to help you, our various physicians, and uh, we can get you taken care of. In fact, today, the topic is uh, really about one of the services that TOA has developed over the last couple of years that really is a uh, profoundly helpful uh, service for patients, and that's the orthopedic urgent care. Um, you know, people get hurt all the time. Orthopedic injuries, musculoskeletal injuries are super common. They're probably the most common type of injury that can be minor, can be major. And it used to be that, that you'd talk to your primary care doctor about it if you could get in, if they were interested in seeing you about it, or you'd have to go to the emergency room, which is, as we know, uh, a long wait and a big bill, and they probably refer you off to an orthopedic uh, specialist uh, for anything from a broken wrist or hand or a sprained ankle. Um, so when we moved into this building here at uh, downtown Nashville, this is called the One City Campus Building, uh, we made it a point to open an orthopedic musculoskeletal urgent care center. That was kind of our test bed pilot project. Um, we initially just started doing it on the weekend, uh, Saturday, and then we branched out to being open every day of the week, Monday through Friday, and then Saturday. We're closed Sunday. Uh, typically, the orthopedic uh, urgent care clinic uh, uh, is manned either by a physician or by a physician's assistant. And uh, we're going to talk a little bit about uh, TOA's urgent care program as it is today because it's gotten a lot bigger. Um, and some tips to try to help you make a decision about whether you should go to the emergency room, whether you should go to the TOA orthopedic urgent care or whether your, your problem can or should be managed elsewhere. So I hope this is helpful to you. Um, again, if you have any comments while we're live, please post them uh, below and we'll try to get to them. Casey's here trying to help me stay in line. Um, one thing I want to apologize for is I'm on call this weekend, starting today in the emergency room. So unfortunately my telephone's on. If my telephone rings, I'll take a look at it, and I may have to answer it and cut things short, but hopefully we won't get interrupted. So, in any event, urgent care. Most orthopedic injuries are relatively minor. Uh, a sprained ankle, a jammed thumb, a broken toe, low back pain that's acute, um, aches and pains in the shoulder after playing a softball game. All of these types of things um, are super common and most commonly are not terribly worrisome in the long term. Some may need treatment, some may not, but most of them are not emergencies. And so going to an emergency room for those types of injuries, and we'll talk about others, um, is really kind of pointless. 
because you'll spend a lot of time in the emergency room, you'll undoubtedly spend a lot of money in the emergency room, and frankly, they may not be able to do very much for you. Um, now, with that said, um, more major injuries, um, the emergency room is very appropriate. So let's talk about some of the things that would take you to the emergency room first. These are the really most important things that I think you should probably consider going to the emergency room uh, rather than the urgent care center. Um, so a major trauma, you fell from a height, like you're cleaning your gutters and fell from a ladder and you can't put weight on your foot, or you uh, have so much back pain that you can't move. A major motor vehicle accident where you are um, really beat up and uh, uh, lots of parts hurt, there was major damage. Um, uh, a, a big cut on your hands, your feet, or around your knees, shoulders, uh, that could be really deep, that you might need a tetanus shot for, that you might need actual surgical treatment for. Another thing to go to the emergency room for primarily is infections. If somebody comes in and they had a, a, sticker, bo a sticker bush, uh, stick them in their hand several days ago and their hand is blown up like a big clown hand, balloon, red, really painful, you have a fever, that can be an emergency problem and really should go to, you, you should go to see the emergency room because many times those types of things that come on quick and are getting worse actually need something more urgently done. Um, now is uh, I woke up with my back hurting and I can't move necessarily an emergency room problem? No, it's not. And in fact, without trauma, most back pain problems are fairly self-limited and while they're scary and painful and um, limiting in your mobility, they really aren't emergencies and, um, and they can be treated without having to take on the emergency room uh, time and money uh, which will really be kind of a waste for you. Um, there are a lot of urgent care clinics out there outside of TOAs. We're a little bit special. The urgent cares that are at Kroger or the grocery store or the pharmacy or um, the various walk-in clinics have differing levels of capabilities. The ones in the stores, um, uh, in the grocery store, in the uh, uh, pharmacy are really they're typically manned by nurse practitioners and they're typically uh, best at managing the simple medical problem. You've got a cold, you've got sniffles, you've got a fever, um, you feel like you have a urinary tract infection, uh, minor medical problems. They're not typically set up to do something like a splint or a cast. They're typically not set up to suture or lacerations. Now there's kind of a middle group of walk-in clinics. Uh, in Middle Tennessee, Concentra is a big one, uh, that are set up to de deal with more intensive types of, of uh, problems. They deal with medical problems like the, uh, uh, the uh, pharmacy, uh, sorry, the pharmacy and the grocery store clinics are. They also can manage work comp uh, uh, injury uh, reports. They can also manage um, lacerations, sprains, strains, and that type of thing. But um, again, you're not seeing an orthopedically trained person uh, for your musculoskeletal problem in those venues. Many of them are manned by emergency room physicians, so it's a great thing but TOA's offerings are a little bit different. We specialize in orthopedic care, so bone, muscle, joint injuries, sprains and strains of your ankles and other joints, knees, shoulders, hips, fingers, hands, wrists, elbows, uh, low back pain, neck pain after minor injuries, minor motor vehicle accidents, um, small lacerations, small cuts. Um, we, do, uh, we are capable of managing workers' comp injury claims. Um, and um, uh, sports injuries, one of the big uh, popular reasons why people come to a TOA clinic is, uh, well, it used to be before um, this year, uh, 
Friday night football, Saturday morning, young guy is, is pretty beat up, sore, or got injured on the field, uh, we've got an office available for you to come in and be evaluated. Um, where we don't shine, uh, and really it's inappropriate to come to either a walk-in clinic uh, at TOA or um, the walk-in clinics uh, uh, such as Concentra or others or the, the little uh, pharmacy clinics is really a major trauma uh, situation. Worry about major infection with high fever, um, uh, inability to bear weight such as you fell and my hip hurts so bad I can't bear weight. Um, uh, that's really a better venue for the emergency room. Um, another thing that our offices offer is basically a walk-in venue uh, during the week. So for example, uh, you come in on Monday at work, you played a big softball game on Sunday, you're sore, you want to get it checked out, you got a short period of time, you can't really get an appointment uh, with an orthopedic surgeon either because your primary doctor can't or won't refer you, your insurance requires a referral, or um, because of scheduling, you can actually walk in and uh, we'll be happy to see you. And many times during the business hours of our offices, rather than just being seen in the walk-in clinic by a physician's assistant, you may actually get routed directly into one of our physician's offices. So our physicians who have open slots available in their clinics can literally see you via the walk-in method. And so it's a really good option for people who have acute or subacute problems related to their musculoskeletal system. We'd be happy to see people with chronic back pain problems, chronic neck pain, chronic uh, heel pain, that type of thing. But frankly, those types of issues are probably better managed by actually making an appointment with a specialist in the area of your problem. The difficulty with the walk-in clinic is you don't have the choice of who you can see. Um, you may have a foot and ankle problem, but the only person available to you may be a spine doctor or a, or a shoulder person. And so you're not necessarily getting the subspecialty care that you could get for a chronic problem with uh, uh, making an appointment. So it's, a, it's an important distinction to understand that the walk-in clinic's role, the urgent care clinic's role, is for after hours care, uh, urge, uh, recent injury or problems, um, and you're willing, if you want to, to uh, see somebody who may not be a super specialist in your particular area. The urgent care clinic is really not appropriate for someone who, for example, has an appointment with me and misses their appointment and then just shows up there because you're not going to get the care that you would get with me. It's a little bit of a delay to get back um, and there's an expense to it. So, um, you know, those types of things, that's not really the best use of the TOA urgent care clinic. We have urgent care offices at most of our major practice locations. So here at One City in downtown Nashville, we have an urgent care office at our Murfreesboro uh, uh, clinic office on Medical Center Parkway. Uh, we have an urgent care clinic in our Clarksville office on Hillcrest Drive. And we have an urgent care clinic in our new uh, big uh, office in Hendersonville on Saundersville Road. I'm looking down here because I'm going to tell you the hours a little bit to, to, to give you some guidance. So Monday through Fridays, all of these offices are open. The One City office is open from 9 to 3.30. The Murfreesboro office, uh, urgent care is open from 8 to 7 p.m., 8 a.m. to 7 p.m. The Clarksville urgent care is open from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. And the Hendersonville office, uh, Urgent Care Center is open from 9 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Monday through Friday. All these offices are closed on Sunday, but they're all open on Saturday. One City Office, downtown Nashville, 9 to noon. Murfreesboro Office, 8 to 5 p.m. Clarksville Office, 8 to noon. Hendersonville Office, 8 to noon. 
These office hours will undoubtedly change and evolve as time goes on, as the popularity of these clinics increase. Um, so these are not hard and fast forever into the future hours. In addition, we're hopeful that we can uh, offer urgent care services at some of our smaller locations as the demand uh, increases. Uh, so um, I think it's a great option for you to have to, to stay out of the emergency room if you can, to get in with an orthopedic specialist so we can concentrate on your problem because we have the experience. We have the ability to put splints on. We have the ability to put casts and braces on. We have the ability to provide various forms of durable medical equipment, crutches, walker, uh, protective boots, and that type of thing. We have the ability to do x-rays. Um, one thing we don't have for the workers' comp injury uh, is um, the ability to do man mandatory drug screens. At least right now, that's a little hit or miss, and so I wouldn't proclaim that we can advertise that we can service all of the work comp needs. Some workers' comp uh, uh, carriers demand a drug screen involved with the claim, and so right now we're not able to offer that in all of our offices, so I'm not going to advertise that to you. But certainly, sports injuries of any kind, um, uh, sprains and strains, uh, took a fall on your skateboard, uh, sprained your ankle walking downtown, um, dislocation of your thumb or fingers playing basketball, um, any kind of broken bones we can take care of. We may not be able to manage fully in the clinic, but we can certainly splint you. We can certainly get you to the right people to take care of the problem if it needs surgery. And the most common uh, uh, fractures we see are fingers and toes, wrists, ankles, occasionally in the lower leg. Uh, we have actually seen people with broken hip um, who came in. Um, and we, we, have to, we, we don't manage everything uh, uh, immediately in that situation simply because we're not a surgery center uh, if you need surgery, but we can immobilize, we can manage it medically. Um, uh, low height falls, so fall from a, uh, from a height of about three feet, that gets a little bit dicey with regard to whether or not it's a more major injury or not, especially if you can't bear weight. Uh, falling from a ladder, particularly if you hit your head, it's probably best to go to the emergency room. Um, minor car wrecks, uh, minor uh, incidents uh, with uh, bikes, motor vehicles, motorcycles, that type of thing um, is certainly appropriate. Major league uh, heavy duty trauma, not that appropriate. Okay. Now, um, with regard to workers' comp, we can basically start the process in just about anybody with regard to a musculoskeletal injury. Again, the only downside is we can't really routinely offer drug screens, so if your employer requires that, um, we're not the best location for that. Um, obviously, any life-threatening conditions, the urgent care centers are not emergency room equipped. So, you're having chest pain, you're having shortness of breath, you're vomiting blood, you have blood in your stool, um, uh, you're fainting. Those are not musculoskeletal problems and we can't help you manage those. If somebody happens to pull into the office and are having problems, we will either direct you to the emergency room or call the EMS service to pick you up and take you to the emergency room. So we're not an emergency room, we don't have affiliation with a full-service hospital, so medical problems, life-threatening emergencies uh, are not appropriate for the Tennessee Orthopedic Alliance Urgent Care Centers. Um, again, we're hoping to increase our uh, presence. We're hoping to increase our footprint. Um, I think we're working hard on trying to uh, make it a full-service musculoskeletal uh, experience for people. Um, but the people that have come have really enjoyed the ability to come in quickly, easily, uh, low stress, and get taken care of by our folks who are uh, some of the best docs in the region. So um, I encourage you to consider using the uh, urgent care clinics uh, with TOA. Again, the office at One City, downtown Nashville, 
That's on 8 City Boulevard. It's on the connector between Charlotte and uh, 28th Avenue. Uh, Murfreesboro at our Medical Center Parkway office. Clarksville, Hillcrest uh, Drive, and uh, Saundersville Road in Hendersonville. Um, remember, too, uh, uh, that uh, TOA does offer telemedicine visits. Um, if, for example, you want to see somebody, particularly in follow-up, it's really good for a follow-up visit, but we do see new patients as well, um, uh, and don't feel comfortable coming into the office, um, it can be a useful tool for folks. You can go online to toa.com and click the, the button for the telemedicine information, and it can give you some information about what to do. Uh, there are limits to the telemedicine visit, obviously. None of the doctors can examine you. Uh, at least to put hands on you, and we can't get x-rays or other pictures, so um, there's a limit there. That's where the face-to-face -face, uh, experience in the urgent care uh, is so valuable, because we can get x-rays. We can get um, uh, you fit with a splint or other um, durable medical equipment. So it's a nice additional service to our regular office appointments, and it runs in parallel to our telemedicine uh, uh, experience as well. Anyway, so I think I think this is going to be a short one. Um, uh, I encourage you to consider using the TOA Urgent Care Musculoskeletal uh, Centers. Um, again, uh, uh, it's a good option. We have a good footprint so far. We're looking to expand. Um, if you have a major uh, disaster problem, always path of least resistance is the emergency room. Uh, so make sure you think about that. Uh, we welcome same-day walk-ins. Um, uh, we basically take all the insurances that we always do for everything. Uh, one thing I'll tell you is we do not have narcotics on properties. Um, uh, so if you want to come into our office and rob us of narcotics, it's pointless because we don't have them. I'm teasing. Not really. Um, but uh, in any event, um, consider the urgent care as an alternative to the emergency room for your musculoskeletal needs. Um, so we'll wrap it up today, uh, kind of a short day. Uh, next week, next Friday, uh, Dr. Matt Willis is back. Um, this time we're going to be talking about common sports injuries to the shoulder. Uh, remember, before we talked a little bit about rotator cuff, uh, problems. He's going to dive more into actual sports related injuries to the shoulder, which are super common. And uh, I look forward to that. I've got a whole list of people that I've put uh, feelers out to within TOA to come talk to us. And I, I think most uh, of the viewers here enjoy uh, seeing more than just me and Kevin here. And don't get me wrong, uh, that's okay. Um, and uh, uh, so we're going to have a, a big, a pretty big slate of people coming up over the next few months. So I'm looking forward to that as well. Um, anyway, so uh, I'll let you go. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please feel free to comment below. Um, look back at our old uh, archived uh, Facebook Live uh, uh, adventures. The doctor is in live with TOA. It's both on uh, the TOA.com website and the Media Center, it's on Facebook, it's also on YouTube, and um, uh, go out there, be careful, don't do stupid stuff with stupid people at stupid times of the day, uh, that'll keep you out of the urgent care center, and um, make sure right now that you consider everyone else uh, and uh, wear a mask. Yes, it's, it's a little bit of a hassle, it's not to keep you from getting uh, a virus. It's to keep you from potentially giving it to somebody else. It's not perfect, but it's the easiest thing we have to try to reduce the likelihood of transmission. This is a tough disease. Uh, it, we're still learning about it. Um, it's pretty obvious that uh, nobody has the right answer for the long term yet, um, but bear with it. Um, we're all in this and uh, you can't run away. So. Anyway, stay safe, stay healthy, and uh, go have a great weekend. It's going to be hot, so drink lots of water, stay in the shade, and uh, why don't you go out there and live your best life? <laughs>